Of course, uh, I guess we all want to keep the dream alive, don't we? And that's how the song came about, really. Keeping the dream alive, the stirring anthem for the World Cup. Especially in the light of the fact that there wasn't going to be an official song for this World Cup, so here's the unofficial song. <laughs> Land of Hope and Glory is perhaps the most patriotic song of all. And so we've got our Hope and Glory Road where legends and dreams are made. And that's the essence, the spirit of the song, if you like. We started the uh, social networking thing with YouTube and Facebook, which was, I have to confess, I'm showing my age, but it was all kind of new ground to me and I'm absolutely overwhelmed. We've had uh, about 5,000 hits on YouTube in the first couple of weeks, which to me seems like a good response. I guess it's small numbers compared to selling millions of records, but it's, you know, we are the underdog here, so, you know, we're, we're marching forward step by step. Time's right now for this, I guess, because it's, it's it's the time when all England fans are starting to get excited. You know, young and old people are. The, the World Cup fever is just kind of beginning to to rear its ugly head, and everybody's starting to get jittery and excited about England. You know, marching onto that pitch yet again. It's a goal. Hopefully, to bring the trophy home this time. Eh? Styles 
and Gordon Banks.